Well, um, well, not everybody gets to be ranked number one. I, I don't know that that was something I ever thought about. I don't know that it was ever a goal to have an in-season number one ranking. I don't think anybody ever thinks that way. But, but you know, we we did, um, you know, come, we were coming off a game where obviously we didn't play very well, so that puts a little bit of a damper on it when you know there's other teams that are probably more worthy uh, because of the way they're they're playing. But that's but that's just the way it goes. I, I certainly don't think we're the best team in the nation um, uh, because I think we're a work in progress. But you know what? I'm happy for our fans. Re- really happy for our fan base because they they've been it's they've been through some tough decades um, with our basketball program and and um, you know they've seen the highest of highs, especially the older fans. Um, you know, one of the most significant basketball games ever played was um, the one the Astrodome. That was that was Houston basketball. That's who they were back then. They were one of the top programs in the nation. And then uh, in the next uh, decade with the 80s, you know, there was a, it was almost a cultural phenomenon with uh, Five Slam and Jamma. And then uh, after that, you know, it's just kind of been hit or miss. Um, so for our fan base, it's something to stick their chest out about. And, you know, like all fan bases, everybody likes to brag on your, their fan base and put other fan bases down. I don't really prescribe to that because – I'm pro coach. Um, every one of these teams have a, a coach, and I respect the coaching profession. 